I, I don't give a damn if they have my information. And all they're gonna see is, is everything I look at up on of. All they're gonna see is my my schedule. You know, what are they gonna do with my data? Um. So, so according to the article, it says that if the deal is reached by September 15th, it yeah. will ensure all data on American users is transferred and stays in the U.S. Oh. I am not so sure about that. Yeah. I'm not going to believe a word that comes out of that comes from the CCP. What is up, beautiful people that are internet? Welcome to TBG Spills the T 2.0. So we decided to uh, change up the form uh, formatting of the this podcast. It's now uh, it's now going to be only fifteen to twenty min uh, minute discussion on a particular topic, trending articles, trending news. Um, and uh, and all positive content. So if y'all want want to get some more of that, hit that subscribe button, like, share, please share. Hit that notification button to you know show your support, show some love. We we really appreciate it. And oh, and T passes that's what's good. Oh oh, we doing real uh, real good. Oh, um, me, bro. Xavier's over there getting drunk. Uh, you me? Oh yeah, you bet, man. You bet. <laughs> All right, so uh, and plus at the very end we got a, we got some breaking news, uh, some uh, real surprise for y'all. I just uh, I just I heard about it today, and we're real ex real excited to to announce it. So, but you gotta stick to the end though. So let's let's jump right into it. So, what do y'all think about TikTok? What's what? How do y'all feel about TikTok right now? Well, what's 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 going on with TikTok right now? Okay. I'm not I'm not caught up. Yeah. All right, all right, so like so basically the just the gist of it is tick tiktok's been blowing up little kids been using it a lot of people's been using it and yeah. india banned it because because they say it's a security risk and trump's trying to ban uh ban it too because he says it's a security risk he says china is trying to steal uh steal uh, our data and plus well, TikTok it is a, with trump. it is a company it is an application that's owned by a chinese company so naturally it's going to be a security risk uh, i mean yeah. it, and if you're talking about apps or any business at all they're just taking your data yeah but that makes sense that's all you know but I mean, do uh, do either of y'all use, uh, use TikTok? No, no, no. Like, like, per like personally, TikTok is my is my rabbit my rabbit hole. You know, I'll, you know, there, you know, a lot of people are on there to see dances, to see to see music. But there's a lot of good use for it. I follow a lot of uh, I follow a lot of attorney attorneys on there, and and uh, there's a lot of bus there's a lot of business uh, business people on there giving business advice. So I'm I was I'm actually learning a lot of things on there, and, I, and that will actually deprive a lot of people of those educational, uh, educational opportunities. Well, but, I bet you anything, those same people have an Instagram, they have a YouTube page that they release the same content on. Like, I'm sure they have their own backup, uh, what is it? Like, their own backup, uh, like, format that yeah. they fall back on. Just yeah. in case if uh, one platform falls. Yeah, that, that is true. But use, you, the user interface and navigating TikTok is so fucking easy. And and the media just keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming. There's barely any load time. That's why people get stuck in it. That's why, because there's no, there's no, there's no lag. You just go on to the next video, to the next video, to the next video. Everything loads, everything loads in the background. So I mean, Chinese are good at making addictive products. For yeah. Sure, right. <laughs> well. The, the, my issue with it is that this is that this is a this is an app that uh, the CCP has a huge hand in, and this is how they're actually spreading their own propaganda to the Western audiences. Yeah. Who's the CPP? Who's that? Uh, Chinese Communist Party. Oh. Uh, like there, I've seen a lot of um, a lot of communist propaganda being uh, being perpetrated through um, well, TikTok, and then uh, mm. the Chinese version of TikTok called Douyin. Uh. But and one other thing that they worried about is this a big time like time dump, like 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 uh, you know, true true story true story. One day I jumped on TikTok for a few seconds. It was three three hours later. I'm still in there. Fuck it, I could have been I could have been productive. I could have been doing something with my life uh, around that time rather than just like chilling on TikTok. Uh, but okay, here. And, yeah, that's that's why like I'm like it sounds very addictive. I mean. Yeah. I guess any form of social media is going to be addictive in some way, yeah. but this is why I kind of stay off of social media like as much as I can. Uh, yeah. But but all right, but here's the thing: 
They all trying to get rid of TikTok. Did y'all know Microsoft Microsoft is buying up TikTok? Not just Amer the not just in America, they buying up TikTok globally. The entire the entire TikTok market. The Chinese version too? Yeah, yeah, even yeah, even the Chinese version too. It's up to a thir uh, a thirty uh, billion dollar purchase. Thirty billion? Thirty billion. Mm. And and fucking uh, fucking Trump uh, Trump he says if you if you're gonna when you make that big purchase a chunk of that money is gonna go into into the treasury. Word. Yes. All right. But but he, like here's the thing. Uh, why does why does America why does the treasury deserve some of that money? I don't know. I I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. But 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 Microsoft is so Microsoft is purchasing TikTok. The like, all all, the, all its operations all the globally. So, so how is so how is uh, the U.S. Treasury getting a slice of it then? Uh, uh, Trump, uh, yeah, Trump, uh, Trump has said if y'all gonna do that, y'all got forty five days to do it, and uh, uh, the Treasury is gonna get a chunk of that. That that's his stipulations. That's his stipulations. That's, that's his not. Yeah, that's his stipulations. If they if they wanna if they wanna purchase TikTok, the Treasury got to get a chunk of that, and you got forty five days to do it. Yeah, he announced he had announced all that on on Sunday. But but if all right, so if so, we just banned TikTok. Yeah. Right. Well, no, no, we didn't ban TikTok. Well, Trump's it's still in the process TikTok. of being banned. Okay. Well, we're in a pro. It's a we're, we're you know we're we're attempting to ban TikTok as yeah. Americans, right? The government. Yeah. Then we work with Microsoft to then buy TikTok and all. Well, no, all no. of TikTok. Hold on, and all of TikTok, right? Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna go ahead and just do the same thing. That the reason why we ban TikTok to China and other countries. Yep. Okay. They, but the the thing the thing I guess the thing that, that Americans have got to worry about is China having our information. So so they so okay. I guess I mean this podcast brought to you by our Facebook community. Find a Zoom connection. Find friends, networking, relationships. Find a Zoom connection. Safe connections at a safe distance. I don't give a damn if they have my information. All they're gonna see is is everything I look at upon her. All they're gonna see is my my schedule. You know, what are they gonna do with my data? Um, so, so according to the article, it says that if a deal is reached by September fifteenth, yeah. it will ensure all data on American users is transferred and stays in the U.S. So, I am not so sure about that. I'm not gonna believe a word that comes out of that comes from the CCP at all. I mean, I know they're not. They're not the company that they're um they're they're not being involved in the directly involved in the transaction, but I guarantee you the CCP does have right. a hand in influencing what like the negotiations and whatnot. All right, all right, check this out. Yeah, uh, check this out. So if if you if you you know China's they are they're far away from us. America's they're closer to us. Who would, you know they uh, their uh, decision can have a bigger effect on us. Who would you rather have your data, China or America? Honestly, America. Hundred percent America. Hundred percent America. All right, so what? What can China do? Uh, what can China do to uh, to us with with our data? I mean, un I can uh, understand unless uh, unless we're on a like we have a high le high level job and shit. Well, da data is very influencing capable, right? Mm -hmm. So like I work with data, like yeah. at, in my job, and it's very viable because you can influence a culture and you can pick what cult what culture you want to influence yeah and if china has our data then you had china has ability to influence our our culture that's that's what i'm really worried about i'm not really worried about my privacy i'm worried about um outside countries influencing the culture for their benefit and china is is, is known com like it, china wants to compete with america right allegedly or uh, people speculate that and if that's true then i don't want a country that wants to compete with my country having influencing factors against it uh, uh, yeah, the point to... the point isn't to isn't like uh like you know you're you don't do anything uh like high level CEO or even government related work right mm -hmm. like it's not about like a uh, like a uh, what was it like personal privacy where you don't really do anything too important yeah. it's more of the fact that like Ben said uh, like culture can be influenced through <clears throat> um, through something yeah. like that yeah, and um. And then on top of that, it's like you can actually use that as a means of uh, spying on people. And say if you just made a like, I don't know how many of you guys like post on Facebook, like like just on the uh, the um, just for the public to see, like on your friends list. I mean, yeah, whichever whichever way you you post your uh, your uh, you know your thoughts, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Any of those thoughts could immediately either get censored or or they would uh, put you on a watch list of some sort because that's what's happening with people in Hong Kong right now with the national security bill. Yeah. So like free speech is no longer a thing because of the fact that they're being monitored. Well, I mean, well, that uh, free speech is barely, barely thing over here anymore. That's part of uh, kind of what we're uh, what we're fighting for right now, in a way. That's true, but we're also not being sent to the gulag yeah, yeah. just because of something we yeah. said against the government. Right. Yeah, I think America has a pretty strong freedom of yeah. speech compared yeah. to other countries. Yeah, what, like, what, so it's what, dying, but yeah. it's not as bad yeah. as some other countries, though. That's for sure. I, I like the, the way I, the way I see it, reg regardless of who it goes to, our our data is still is still gonna be uh, uh, stolen from us. Our data is still, you know, it's yeah. somebody else, somebody somewhere is spying, spying and taking our data. Not even somebody, bro. Your neighbors tree tree hit me up trying to steal some data today. I was like, all right, sure, I'll steal some data for you. And I said, all right, here, here's the data. I right, appreciate and, it, man. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Our neighbors are stealing your data. Uh, you hey, don't, hey, don't tell Xavier, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's, 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 but, like, it's a difference between having, you know, people in a country having data in China and, and or uh, even Australia or any other country should, should not be having our data. Well, I mean, that's why Edward Snowden back in, uh, what was it, 2016 or so, that's why he, like, with his top secret level clearance, he made he made it public that the U.S. was illegally spying on its own citizens and and basically trying to uh, pilot the corruption that 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 was happening. Yeah. Well, like like, and it's 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 not even it's not even too much of a of a of a secret more than just wrapped up with other bullshit, right? So like Elon Musk uh, announced recently that he has an idea or a prototype. To where you can put a chip in your in your body or in your brain. It's a brain chip, and it can make you hear things that you weren't here before. It can cure spinal um, uh, pathologies and diseases. Um, it can cure brain diseases and pathologies. Um, it can it can um, um, increase decision making ability and uh, process of logic into humans as well. And it's all doing all those capabilities, all that stuff that, that is pretty much a pitch. The reason why it's a pitch is because all that's like against the national security. You can't just do that. But then if Elon Musk, who's beloved and has this great idea, and even though people are going to be like, fuck no, right? But there are, there are going to be a vast majority of people who are going to be like, yo, I got a brain shift. I hear shit that you can't hear. And then people are going to be attracted to that. But that that's what's going to get the vote in, right, to make things like that uh, possible in our country. You know what I mean? So it's like it's it's. I'm not against. I love Elon Musk all my heart, but like that type of stuff is kind of weird to me. Well, I mean, to be honest, if you've seen how he's been interviewed and how he's uh how he interacts with uh for example Joe Rogan on his podcast, yeah. I mean, if you see the way that he talks yeah. and uh, thinks about uh, the questions, I'm pretty sure he's either a cyborg from the future or he's an alien. Uh, one did, or the other. Didn't he get high high on on that episode? I don't think he got high, but he definitely smoked. He did smoke some weed. Yeah. I don't think he got high on the first episode, oh, okay. though. Oh, Joe Rogan did do uh, shrooms with Post Malone, though. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was crazy. Oh, that was, that's interesting. I, I don't think I got that far in that podcast. They said in the beginning. All right. Hey, Joe Rogan, oh. give us a... Uh, if, if, are you watching? We need a brand deal. We'll push we'll push our viewers up, over to you. Did you say Joe Rogan sponsor our podcast so people can watch his podcast? Yeah. All right, we got you, <laughs> Rogan. Rogan. We are... Um, uh, a micro organism compared to Joe Rogan. We're like a a, a micro cell. Oh. Yeah, micro micro cell. Again, give it a couple months. I'm trying to think big here. I'll be happy to be an ant compared to Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's out this world. But there's no. All right, all right, and and on and on that note, let's on that note, let's jump let's jump to the big announcement uh, that we got. Ben, ben, you want to take it? Um, yeah, me and Tree coming out with a podcast. Should be coming out next week. Um, called Bro, what the fuck? It's gonna be a podcast. Just talking about shit that's shocking online. Shit that makes me go like, what the fuck? And Tree is gonna be there too. Yeah. Should be cool. Check it out. It's coming out soon. Hey, hey actually, and, hey, le hey, let's let's do an exam an example of one. I got I got an art article. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got an article re re ready in my head. Uh, so, all right, all right. So, how how would you feel if you would if you would be able to get 
50 orgasms a day. <laughs> exhausted. Exhausted. That sounds exhausting. It sounds like... <laughs> All right, check us out. So, like a more days for me. Um, wait, wait. I, I want to clarify a few things here. Okay. Is this intermittently throughout the whole day, or is this like chronically, just repeat. like a like consecutively? Oh, yet no, all it, at it, once. It's, it's like ra- it's like uh, not random, but it happens very often and easily triggered. Oh God, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I I've heard of this. This is actually a sexual disorder. Yeah. All right, so, so all right. you're just you so you're just walking at you're at the bank in line. Like, yep. So, like, so so this so this one so this one girl uh they diagnosed her with uh with an incurable uh disease called persistent ge- uh, genital arousal disorder. Yep, uh, I, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yep. So like so randomly throughout the throughout the day, let's say if they're if she's in the car and it's a bobby road. She all of a sudden has a has an orgasm. That's fucking. Nice. If she if she if she uh, if anything touches her and those in those lower areas, she automatically has an orgasm. You know, you know, you know shit like that. I've heard an example where, where um let's see, like say it was to vibrate, and that's when she'll also or. Yep. Well. Well, if I mean, like she's making physical contact with her phone and it's it's vibrating. Yep, yep, exact. Uh, that's the exact uh, situation right there. So, 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 so it'll it'll be you know I guess sho- shocking uh, information like that. What do you think, Ben? I mean, it's a blessing and a curse. I mean, it's the worst disease I've ever. Been. People are dying from cancer, so you come fifty times a day, get over it, you know. Yeah. Stand still. Anyways. Yeah. And it and uh, an article, uh, article it talks about her dating, and she and she did actually find uh, find a guy on a dating website that she built a relationship I, with. I bet. I bet it was. <laughs> but then think, think about yeah. it. If you have fifty orgasms a day. Sex, sex wouldn't be enjoyable to you. So it, it just—I like, say it—it—it it, sounds like, uh, like that sounds like a nuisance to be honest because like sounds like what? to like what work a nuisance uh, yeah yeah so but it like if you're trying trying to have a normal life and you're just trying to work your uh, everyday job you know it's gonna it's gonna start affecting your work and anything you do so. Hey, hey, we know what she would make a great sex hotline operator, though. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about, Trey. You gotta look at it good. Just, good saying, about just saying. I'm an optimist. I'm an optimist. That's what I'm saying, Trey. Right, I, I got one. I got some. All right. All right. So, what would you guys do if one day you woke up and your penis turned absolutely charcoal black? And was so fragile that if you even tried to touch it, it would fall off. Bro, and... what the fuck? <laughs> what I, would you guys do? I would not move uh, out of that bed. I, I guess, I guess, I, I guess I'll be, I'll be get chilling in bed my entire life. I hope it's a purple bed. So purple what mattress if, hit me up. <laughs> so what if? I right, so that okay. happens to you. So what if the doctor tells you we can save your penis, okay. but we have to put it on your arm. Would you take the opportunity? What What the fuck would I do with a penis on my arm? Would you take the opportunity? It's a whole functioning penis. Would you do it? I would need more information because that's ma- that makes no damn sense. Well, this man who lost his penis uh-huh. with blood protection has now uh, built uh, had his penis built on his arm, on his forearm. So, you know, right, so is it like right, like right here? Exactly out? how you imagine. Like right, his sticking out. So he would go for, go from like. Is your blur part? What blur. the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Does does that count as like uh like indecency in public or something like that? Not not not, not if it's a um not if it's if, if it's like a disorder uh, disorder. Right. That's a, a dis- or disfigurement. Oh. 
you know? six hundred dollars a month for it. So, so. Yeah, so, so, so you can go from I don't know, pop chick, so. So you can go from finger to chick to right pros and cons. All right, so here's the thing, right? That's the headline. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they built it on his pe- on on his arm, but they it's like a skin grafting where they're gonna eventually move it back to where the penis should be or something like that. It's in the UK. Of course it's in the UK. Right. Yeah. So, so does does he get pleasure? Uh, is there a pleasure or sensation on a penis? It he must, say. right? It didn't say. I feel like Tiffany oh. it didn't oh. say. Ima- okay, Im- a lot of details. Hey, imagine going on a date. Imagine go- going on a date and the, the chick's really hot. Automatically, yeah. you get a boner on your arm. How do you hide that shit? <laughs> Long sleeves? Long I don't sleeves. even think long sleeves are gonna work. Do. You gotta get one of those uh, uh those little bracelets. Down. Put a little bracelet that wrap right around my arm, uh, and then put them right here. Or, or like one of those like long armbands, you know? Yeah, like when you get a boner, and like you're in a place where you shouldn't get a boner, so you just tuck it in your pants. That's what you essentially have to do with a, a bracelet. All right. Oh, hey, that, hey, that used to happen, happen to me a lot. Like, that used to happen to me a lot, like, like in middle school. You, uh, you, you know, when you start what, the penis uh, on your arm, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about like ra- random erections. You ever, you ever, you ever fell asleep in class in school, all of a sudden woken up, woke up with an erection? Uh, no, no, yeah, I, I did, yeah, for sure. Oh, like, like that would happen to me. I embraced often. it though. <laughs> what happened? I embraced it as a kid. Uh, I was like, yeah, boner. Uh, yeah, that's just cool. At least. Yeah, every every time that every time that happened, I would just get get up with my back uh, with my backpack, just like uh, just like you know uh, go, uh, down the front of my waist. <laughs> what? Just, just walking out. <laughs> what about your backpack? You're covering you're covering your backpack. Uh, yeah, I would, yeah. Every time that would happen, I would just get up and just have my, uh, hold my backpack in front of me. Uh, I think it's something totally different. Yeah. Or, or maybe uh, that also I mean, like, it's stealthy, I guess. Or like uh, there was uh, there was a time where everybody wore their backpacks. Like I guess this was during my time. Everybody wore their backpacks in the front, ra- rather than wearing them in the back. When the fuck did I do that? Oh, well, this was during my time. How old are you? Sixteen hundred? Yeah. Or did they ever fit a backpack <laughs> in the front? Oh, well, well, it, it was it was a thing when, back when I was in high school. Damn, son. Yeah. That. But I guess that, uh, but so, I guess doing that help help well, uh, hide the direction. So does that mean uh, all all the uh, students at your school ended up getting a uh, hunchback, like developing a hunchback on like on their back or something like that? Because you know you're carrying a backpack with all the with all those stuff, and so you know you're gonna be kind of pro deforming your spine of. Uh, well, normal, or another. I normal don't know. kids aren't like like this all the time. Yeah, right? like, I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think teenagers think that far ahead. You guys ever like seen a kid with a big ass backpack and then you push push the backpack and he's like, oh, oh, like the carts, <laughs> uh, like the like the wheelie backpacks? No, the one just a big on their back and it's a really big backpack and like your friend has one, so you just push him and they're just like, oh. They, Oh, no, nah, I didn't. Hang out, I didn't hang out with those dudes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I, I, like I know, I know about. The uh, I, I didn't experience that in high school, so. Yeah, no, nah, I know. I know about the rolling backpacks, and back, like back then, they, like there was also they were prom- promoting these backpacks that was shaped like lockers. Yeah. Yeah, like the, like um like really long ones, got kind of a rectangular shape, shaped like lockers. I guess seen uh, I guess, uh, I've seen the, uh, those around, but the, but the, but wearing wearing those in the front, like they really help hide your erection, cause like it goes like down further. You can't bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, 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 kid, uh, I guess kids next semester, uh, they probably won't have to worry about that. Most schools gonna be gonna be at home, so right. y- y- y'all won't have to experience y'all won't have to experience that. But. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Oh, I, I, I don't think they'll be experiencing anything while we're in the pandemic. Yeah. But I thanks everybody for joining in. I hope I hope y'all enjoyed the show. If y'all had a laugh, if y'all were informed, hit that like, share, subscribe to us, follow. 
you know, we'll, you know, we, we'll appreciate it. It'll, it hit the bell notifications. Bell. Yeah, hit that notification. And look out for, bro, what the fuck, coming out next week. Next week, guys, coming out. out. TBG Park Ave collabo. I see y'all next week.